गुड मॉर्निंग वन टू वन खास हेलो अनवर वन सेवन फोर या यू गो जॉब गोइंग टू कैनिंग टाउन या I'm booking a cab safe in the knowledge the driver's qualified. Oh yeah. Hello, you right? Yep, you? Yeah, yeah, not that bad. Canning Town, yeah? Yeah. Can communicate with me in English and is trustworthy. I'm doing this since uh 6 7 months and uh yeah, I like it. It's good. Amwar's badge proves he's gone through criminal record checks and an English and topography exam to get licensed by Transport for London or TfL. So how hard was it then for you to get that license from TfL? I worked hard for 5 6 months and I studied every day like 4 5 hours. If you doesn't want to pass one of them, you're not going to get the license. Amwar passed his tests at an official TfL center which are rigorously monitored. But I've heard others are cheating the system where for a few hundred quid they'll supposedly do the whole thing for you. and i've had numerous tip offs about one supposedly respectable place vista training solutions is a large college praised by ofsted vista training solutions today is learning is tomorrow is future it's received nearly 1 and 1/2 million pounds from the government since 2018 for its apprenticeships and claims to have trained thousands Among its courses are taxi training BTEX which people pay for privately at 500 pounds a time it's a lucrative market with a dark side our researchers from eastern europe visto we've heard have been targeting people like him who want to be cab drivers with fraud pretending he wants to work as a driver we've been told by those who've already done the test that manager gerty is the one to speak to. Hello. I am here to speak to Gerty. So you know we will go with you here. So the yeah. Taxi with you. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, taxi Uber, the, you know. The workers Uber, yeah. So I'll show you what the certificate looks. So it comes like this. Uh-huh. BTEC level 2. Amazingly, to get the BTEC, you don't have to do anything. How it work you you have boys come in take test no test and so I, I did a test for you okay that's why you paid 500 pound is okay i mean what do you mean is it safe yeah of course man no more just... college man if anyone phones you just have to say the 3 days course mm-hmm. we've done over 300 students but don't go telling people no no i don't want of the test for no, you no no i don't know i don't know i don't know i just you know i want to work a job and you know So why do TfL require drivers to take tests? The number of minicabs in London has more than doubled from around 50,000 in 2013 to well over 100,000 now. Much of it fueled by the expansion of apps like Uber, where customers book cars on their smartphones. That brought with it concerns about safety, about the number of drivers that were there, and about the need to have some kind of basic standard that ensures there's a good quality across the board. With TfL having to process so many applications and nearly 50% failing at official TfL centers, a market sprung up in college qualifications such as the BTEC in the introduction to the role of the professional taxi and private hire driver. So this huge wadge of papers is the course syllabus for the BTEC. It's got topics as diverse as health and safety, the law and topography. and makes really clear that it's imperative that instruction is given over several days and then it's assessed under strict exam conditions. Back at Vista there's been no course instruction, but our researchers told to come at the end of the day to take exams. An astonishing number of others are doing the same thing. Gert is here too. How are you, man? And another manager, Abdullah. Tick the box at the bottom there. Remember This is supposed to be a 3-day course. And you for taxi too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. We given a few minutes of sham instruction. Always check the vehicle before you pick up a customer and after you drop off a customer. And then looks like we're ready to do the exam. I don't want to see any of the phones, please, okay? And bring her slowly and carefully down. This, This is how it should be done. At this reputable college, aspiring cab drivers do the BTEC in a 3-day intense program of practicals in topics like health and safety with wheelchairs and instruction and written assessments on map reading before a timed online exam. 
At Vista, you're about to see exams take on a new meaning. I'm going to give you the answers here. Everyone's going to get their own answer sheet. And the answers should be, they on here. So this is the English, so it's 1 to 30. Don't get all of them right, get a few wrong. An English and maths assessment required by Vista to register candidates and then do the BTEC. Seemingly not going to be too taxing, as the candidates have all the answers on a sheet of paper. What did you put here? Good. Number two. What's number two? You put nine here. Number three? Yes. Make a mistake. Next, the register. I'm going to get registers. Proving we've attended the three-day course. Signature, number one, please. No problem. These are fake attendance registers, which everyone signs. They had already been filled in with specific dates. Everybody in the room signed the exact same sheet of paper, even though nobody attended for more than one hour. This is absolutely outrageous. It's a complete lie. I had done absolutely no training and I had not set an exam for this qualification. And then final stage, payment. 400, yes. The BTEC, supposedly taken online, we've been told, will be done by this man and Gertie, pretending they're candidates. How you know all this stuff? How you remember? Because we've done it for so many people. Ah. Uh -huh. just... And oh, yeah. they're working now. So, will we really get a certificate? Vista Training Solutions can be theoretically monitored by the examining awarding bodies and the authorities. Centres like this reputable one, London Paragon College in Acton, say they can be inspected at any time. They check registers that they've actually attended on the day. So unannounced visits, they can come and check that the person has filled out application forms. They can come in and check um, at any point that, that we are going through the process that we are meant to be going through. Two weeks later, we're summoned back to Vista Training Solutions. And lo and behold, an official certificate. And guess what? We've passed. Gertie explains how they get round the various checks with the faked registers. If the government came to do a control on us to, to see how, what, are we, are we just passing people? Or are people coming to do something? Here's the register, he signed three days. Just one final reassurance from Gertie. The fell will never stop you. It's never stopped. No. <laughs> okay. Never. No. And now this Ofqual regulated BTEC can be used with TFL to apply to become a cab driver. During the course of our investigation, we get another fraudulently obtained certificate. They've been doing this for more than two years. And hear of other colleges offering the same service. TfL is a licensing authority. It needs to make sure that they are rigorous in every check they carry out on every driver in London, because passengers are getting into those vehicles and they need to know that they are safe. And to hear that parts of that are being forged around London, that is not right. That is really worrying. And TfL need to get a grip on this. They need to sort out their processes and make sure these rogue drivers are taken out of the licence system. Vista Training Solutions say they're shocked by the allegations, which would be a violation of their policies as well as a crime. They say they're launching their own internal investigation. Managers Gertie Kamili and Abdallah Jamak were, they said, behind the project and are no longer working with them. Both ignored us, but we finally managed to track down Gertie. Hi there, Mr Kamili. Can you tell me why you've been arranging qualifications for cash? You've been arranging qualifications for cash. We've got you secretly recorded doing it. Why have you been doing it? Not me. It's not you? No. So who is it then we've got secretly recorded? Not me. He keeps telling us it's not him. How many hundreds of people have you done this for? None. Of... We've got you secretly recorded, Mr Camilli. So who is it then that's I been... Yeah. Are you aware, Mr Camilli, that what you're doing is a fraud and a crime? Not me. TfL declined to do an interview, saying they're deeply concerned about the allegations. As a direct result of BBC London's investigation, TfL now say that they've put on hold all applications from anyone who hasn't taken their topographical test at a TfL centre, with immediate effects. This currently affects nearly 2,000 new applications. How many other fraudulently obtained licences are out there?